This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Before we tackle on the Super License events, we have four different events to do in the final section of, I would classify this more as special events, but it's considered part of the regular career mode, the Red Bull X challenges. So we're gonna be driving some Red Bull cars. Fuck yes, we have three race series and we have a special event that's included in here. So let's get in and see what we have in store. I'm Sebastian Vettel. Hi, Sebastian. Welcome to the Red Bull X Challenge. Totally not reading this off a script. There are lots of different types of racing cars in the world, but this is the place where you will learn how to drive Formula cars. Ooh, nice. Lightweight, high grip tires, downforce, and quick response. In other words, you're going to drive cars that were created only for the purpose of racing. Also, Aurora by C Crooked and Camo, or Camo and Crooked playing in the background. Best song in the game, don't at me. You enjoy yourself i definitely will sebastian thank you so what we have here is red bull cart masters which is that red bull cart 125 that i showed off in the um shifter cart video the red bull x 2014 junior championship which is my favorite car in gt sport and a car that i believe when we get to another top speed race i can probably get a podium in the red bull x 2014 standard championship which is the championship with the full red bull 2014 without a fan and then the sebastian vettel x challenges which is the time trial against seb and Unlike GT5, it's really fucking easy in this game. So anyways, first up, Red Bull Kart Masters is, is what we do first. So the basic features of the Formula Kart can be found in the Humble Kart, and the basics of racing driving can be learned at its controls. The simple suspension list construction means that every tiny input is directly and minutely reflected, just as it would be in a real racing car. And because the driver's motions are so accurately reflected, there's very little room for error. I started driving karts at 7 years old, and the experience I gained from doing so still helps me today. Now get out there and push to the limit. Try to finish the championship in third place or better overall. So we're given loaner cars for all of these. We have Silverstone's The Stowe Circuit, Autumn Ring Mini, Eisjernor Wand, which is going to be interesting, and Gran Turismo Arena. The longest go-kart championship is what we do here. And the, the nice thing about the Red Bull kart challenges or the Red Bull X challenges in general is that... By the way, hi, Wheaties. And yes, back I'm going to get to that in a minute with your comment when everyone hated Seb. Um, the nice thing about these championships is that they pay out a lot of money, and because they're loaner cars, you don't have to buy them. They give you the cars, and I'm going to spoil this now. The prize cars you get from these are literally the cars you drive. The, the resale value are quite damn high on these, so no need for money grinding. Unless unless it's super licensed, we absolutely need to money grind because I want to buy some really bad cars, possibly. But regardless, this is basically GT Kart Championship 125 all over again, but with an extra race. And also... Um, Red Bull themed go-karts. Hey Chris, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. So yes, what Weedy said in the comments when I was reading the uh, the dialogue there, um, back when everybody hated on Seb, that's why whenever we have the Lewis haters on the internet, I just baffle. I, I'm baffled at that because I'm just like, y'all motherfuckers were the same people who were hating Sebastian Vettel in the early 2010s. And now you say Lewis is the worst driver of all time? Or like he ruined Formula 1? What's next? When Max Verstappen starts dominating or if George Russell starts dominating? You're on the George and Max hype train now, but then when he wins more than two world championships in a row, then you're going to start hating him. Like, okay. I wouldn't say Formula 1 fans. I'd say sports fans in general on the internet are usually the worst. Dude, two show for sure it was, bro. Like, the amount of stupid money you can gain from that. And the thing is, the car was really fun to drive, too. So, it wasn't boring money grinding. It was just... Dude, it was, like, perfect. It was, like, literally perfect amount of money grinding. Yes! Book, you're absolutely right on that, bro. The same people who... W who look, because we never had internet. Because we didn't have internet back in back in the day like we did like we do now with social media, I guarantee you all of the people on, on the internet, if we had Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc., would be hating on Michael Schumacher so much. People would hate Ayrton Senna. People would hate Fangio, dude. Because oh they win all the time. Ugh, it's the car. Let's be honest, the only reason people idolize Senna is because he died in a racing accident. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get hate for this, but straight up. Senna was, don't get me wrong, Senna was an amazing driver, but the reason why people put him on a pedestal is because he died while racing. 
And that's what people typically do with, with like musicians, with like painters, with other types of artists or athletes who die before their, um, their, their work was like appreciated. How is it better? How, also, hi, my Titan. Sorry, Mr. Comment. We kind of like um, got in a tangent there. But anyways, um, okay. So basically, GT6 is better than GT5 in the sense that GT6 is a little bit, it's more polished. It, it's more polished. The graphics are a bit better. Like the colors are more vibrant. Um, the, uh, some of the uh, PS2 models were fixed and like cleaned up. So that way they didn't look as bad or they possibly could pass for PS3 models. Um... Some cars that you could acquire or couldn't acquire were not hidden behind a used car dealership that was like a lottery to look for certain cars to, you know, that was required for 100%. Where GT5 is better is that the career mode in general is better. The AI is better. They're faster. Um, the difficulty is much better. Like, the in, there's endurance events. Um, the timing of the release was much better for GT5 online. Online was better. Any changes in gameplay? I mean, not really. I mean, it's basically a racing sim. It's just drive. Drive and compete against others. Like, that kind of question, you literally have to get down to the nitty-gritty and, like, you have to start cherry-picking, essentially. Like, okay, what championship is your favorite? What championship is not your favorite? So, like, all right, well, this game had a formula championship, and then this game didn't. I like it for this reason, and I don't like it for this reason. The HUD was noticed. Yeah, the HUD was probably the most notable change. But even then, it was, like, very slight. It wasn't, like, a big change. Can one still get all the trophies? I think you can. Microphone placement? Let me back it up a little bit. I think you can still get it. I don't think, like... Uh... I would say GT6 is, like, GT5.5, essentially. It's not really, like... It's not really a whole different game, but it's noticeable enough to be a totally different game. Oh, dude, yes. Dude. Only reason why cart gi car giving was eliminated, Wheaties, was because don't forget that people were literally doing scalping and, like, shady shit on eBay and, like, basically, like, using it to troll. Well, one can argue that, like... You know, it's the stupidity of others, but at the same time, I kind of get it. Like, people were taking advantage of it. Like, people were... I remember, dude. I remember when cars were like... Like, the Chaparral 2J were being sold on eBay for like 20 bucks. And people were just like... People were spending like all their time playing GT5. Dude, people were playing GT5 nonstop to buy all those cars. And dude, some people made bank. Or doing the Red Bull Challenge. Some people... Dude, some people literally made a not a living off of it but they made a nice side hustle off of it you know what dude i'm not gonna hate somebody for their hustle but i will hate somebody who like basically tricked others for um you know for like a false promise like oh i'll trade you my red bull x 2010 for your chaparral 2j or whatever and then they just end up like turning their back on them like i think that might have been a bigger reason why but mainly because i think it's just because of people like scalping these cars and then selling them power-ups i mean play blur that's a game i want to play on stream so bad blur yeah okay yeah that is different because it's that's different francisco because the difference between the difference between uh, buying a bunch of of rare cars in gt5 and selling them is that it's digital there's an endless amount you can play the game and earn the car yourself, or you can take the easy way out and pay the price and to get it quickly. PS5 is different because there's limited quantities. That's something that, you know, not everybody's going to be able to obtain. And then people who go and, you know, purposely sabotage, you know, others by using bots to buy them in bulk and then sell them for outrageous prices, that's completely different. It's just like microtransactions in the game, essentially, just not being done by polyphony. Like... If you want to play the game normally, well, we didn't have the tool in 2010, Francisco, or 2011. So that kind of defeats that. Yeah, that too, like... 
that, that, that's the thing. Card gifting was... Card gifting was cool, dude. Like, when Ambush King... My friend Ambush King, when he started playing GT5, like, in 2012, when the XL Edition came out, or whenever the XL Edition dropped, um, I had so many cards to give him, dude. I was like, you know what? Bro, I just, I just want to play online with you. Like, I'm going to give you a bunch of these cards. And you know what? This is like a starter pack, essentially. Like, enjoy this, enjoy this, enjoy that. So I gave him, like, a Formula GT. I gave him, like, I think, like, some Turing cards. I gave him, like, some key cards. Like, I gave him, like, a, like, 10 cards to start with. And they were all really good. Yeah, the 20 million one can be bought. I kind of wish they could. Only because, like, I don't want to play... How much more broken was it? I can't tell. They're both just dumb fast and high downforce. That's all I really know. Like, I, I can't really tell the difference between both. You didn't know I had car trading. Oh. Oh. Wow. All right. Iger Nord Wand for race number three. Yeah, for, sh for real, Wheaties. Like... Getting all the diamonds and then getting that 100 million. Even then you get like 20 million taken away from you because of the, the credit cap. Which is why you have to get all golds first to get all the extra... Get, basically to squeeze the amount of money you can out of it possible. So you can buy as many 20 million cards as you can. Kind of dummy you. I mean... That's the thing. Like, like, in general, it's just because... Oh, fuck. Because... The Red Bull cars are just stupid quick in general. I, I legit can't tell the difference between both. They're just kind of like out of the world kind of thing. So, yeah, I, I don't really know. Okay, we don't need to lift in this corner. It's just flat. I haven't driven this track in so long in a go-kart that I legit don't remember what, what the strats are here. Everyone's just topping out. This isn't a track for go-karts, but yeah, this is a challenge. I want to see if I can get a, a jump shot, like, next to a go-kart for a thumbnail. Because for sure this is going to be the thumbnail, because I'm like... For the go-kart championships, I want to do one tr one different track, because the tracks are pretty much all the same. Almost, for every go-kart series in GT6. I can't get close... Oh, I can get close enough for a jump. Oh, that would be sick. Did someone spin? Oh, fuck. One car did spin, all right. For shifters? No. In general, this is a track not for go-karts. It's meant for, like, rally cars, bro. The fucking... Uh, the, the lack of suspension would kill go-karts in real life around here. Speaking of spin, we smacked the wall so hard that our the model actually clipped... It clipped through the freaking... Um, through the camera over there. That's That's crazy. Okay, we spun. I'm gonna go on, on bumper cam now. Oh my god, dude. Group B around here would be insane, bro. Like, this is like the ultimate rally cross track. On, on pavement, of course, but... Dude, this would be the ultimate Group B race in FIA. But have, like, the start-finish line maybe be a little bit past the jump. No, actually, where would you do... Where would you have a... Pit Road could be the Joker section? Oh, dude. The Pit Road's insane at this track. All twisty and shit. 106 race and Trail W. Oh. Dude, look at him fly. Look at them boys go. I can catch the leader still. Penalty zone before the tunnel? Ah, uh, Perhaps? I can see the penalty zone being before the tunnel or... Oh, fuck. Or right here, before this little bridge. I didn't like my pelvis anyways. He scrubbed too much speed up with his input, so we're good. We got our win. That's that's all that matters. He's got the suck, but not enough actual momentum to catch us. Again, this is not a track really meant for karting. 
kind of an odd choice, but I think maybe, 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 like Tud said, Rebel giving you wings, maybe that was their idea behind the track selection because of the jump? Like, as a corny joke? Maybe? Regardless, I'm, I don't want to look too much into it because it doesn't matter. We win. Now, I think two penalty zones would be too much for this track. Usually, two penalty zones are mainly meant for tracks like Fuji or Nurburgring. Cars with downforce? Just add a wing. Anyway, 67,000 credits. Let me save this replay because I want the thumbnail from this track because this is the only time that we get to see this um, go-kart. Alright, this is the only time we get to see go-karts on this track, I mean. And the final time we get to see this in the LP in general. Gran Turismo Arena. Not the final time we're going to see it in the playthrough, but technically the final time we'll see it in actual race competition. Let's go get it. Probably what's straining the engine? Maybe. Yeah, super carts. Yeah, exactly. Super carts. Um, they, like, the ones that run at Daytona, like, they're... I've seen super kart videos at Daytona, and they're freaking insane, dude. Speaking about Daytona and go-karts, I think there's, like, a oval go-kart race at Daytona, like, on the back straightaway, where they make a tiny little oval, or there's an infield oval? I don't remember. Dude, if PD puts GT Arena back in, the endless amount of opportunities to have, like, like, um, what's, what's that shit called? Um, Race of Champions style racing would be incredible. Like, crossbow, rally cars, NASCAR, like, dude, the endless opportunity. Trucks. Like, dude, get, like, they literally have Gran Turismo Arena to do whatever they want with. They could literally give us a Race of Champions style track. That would be incredible. Imagine that. Well, maybe not, Celica. The, the stadium is big enough. They don't necessarily have to make GT Arena the GT layout like this. They can get rid of all the walls like they do in the coffee breaks and just um, make their own track with like, you know, kind of like the rally, the rally cross track and our racing evolution where there's two routes or whatever, like Race of Champions. In huge boats, it really is. FIA around Sierra? No. Dude, Mista... Mista would tear his freaking hair out if he has any. If he had to do a lap guide around Sierra, dude. That would be terrible. Like... Like, the, the man already struggles enough doing St. Croix Reverse or Nürburgring hot, um, lap guides. Imagine Sierra Time Rally, dude. Trying to nail one good lap around there. I, I can imagine the time trials, dude. Just the top guy is being so aggravated trying to get one lap around there. Yeah, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Figure out your own strategy, exactly. Three laps to go to catch the leader. We're gaining on him. We got him this lap, I reckon. Yep. He slowed down for us. What a gentleman. Dude, Isle of Man? Oh my. In the fetal position? <laughs> yes. I hear the Nurburgring Group 4 this weekend is supposed to be like a tire saving race. If so, the Lancer is absolutely screwed. I'm not getting my S rating. I'm not getting my easy S rating, uh, unless, yeah, unless I run, like, the last slot. <laughs> we got him. Complex string. Oh, man. A freaking FIA race around there. Like, okay. SSRX is not really meant for FIA, but we got that anyways. At this point, PD will do whatever. Your car will probably be good. Majora Central? Oh my god. I might run the final slot then. Explore the pits? Whoa, really? I didn't even know that. 
Play again online for Gran Turismo 6 is not something I really did because not many friends of mine actually played it. Dude, Majora Center. I forgot that was going to be it, bro. Okay, yeah, I'm probably going to run Manu this weekend and then probably run Manu for the finale. All right, Arthur, enjoy your lunch. I forget it's like 2 p.m. over there. So what does Seb have to tell us now? Oh, prize card, that's right. It's just the Red Bull cart. Cathedral Rocks 3. Dude, that'd be fun. Make it like that's like our that's like a dirt oval essentially, so just get some like classic muscles around her. So it doesn't matter what color we get it in because we're selling it. Congratulations. This stage is now cleared. Let's move on to the next stage. Hell yes, Ab. These cars, beginning with the letter X, are dream cars designed by Red Bull Racing and Gran Turismo. From the entry class to a super extreme class, there are in total three different types of cars. Experience the difference in performance by driving yourself. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, Seb. But for now, let's take a look at our percentage and see where we're at now. 87% of the way down. Hell yeah. Getting oh so close to that 100% completion.